Commonspoly is a non-profit and open-source board game which celebrates the idea of a culture of cooperation but also fights against neoliberal privatization. Commonspoly proposed you a battle, a battle between the speculators and the players. The speculator wants everything to be private and the players want everything to be commons. So you have a board in which you uh, obtain four types of goods, environmental goods, urban goods, knowledge-based goods, and health goods. And these goods can be private, public, or commons. So your goal is to convert as much as you can commons or public, but the speculator is going against you. You have 20 rounds as part of the game, and also some special boxes and some cards that when you read them, uh, there is something funny, weird, random that happens to you and your fellow activists. Uh, the idea basically is that uh, through these rounds, you try to commonalize uh, as much as you can from all the, the boxes and all the, and all the goods, but the speculator basically is trying to block you every time. We used to organize, as Semos 98, a festival in Seville every year. We did 17 editions. Uh, the last edition was in 2015, and, you know, as a celebratory thing, we decided to organize a huge gathering with activists, media makers, journalists, educators. Uh, so we brought 80 people together uh, in Seville and we divided them in different groups. One of the groups had the goal of hacking the monopoly. So producing in three days a new version against the idea of the monopoly, which could celebrate, you know, cooperation, collaboration, etc. So a group of people uh, who didn't know each other, which is really interesting, created the first draft uh, of the game with paper and with different, you know, artisan uh, materials. And after that, we have been taking care of the game. The funny thing and the interesting thing behind the monopolies is the story of Elizabeth Maggie. At the beginning of the 20th century, Elizabeth Maggie invented a game called the Lance Lore Game. So this game was basically a game to uh, prevent monopolistic practices, to criticize uh, the monopoly as an idea, as a political idea. She was not able to commercialize the game, and that's why she sold the copyright license to the Parker Brothers. And the Parker Brothers basically converted the game into what we know today as Monopoly. Monopoly right now is owned by uh, Hasbro, which is a huge company, and the idea is still the same as Parker Brothers uh, basically uh, did. So Commons Poly is also an attempt to rescue this story of a woman who tried to produce a game to fight against the monopoly and not to celebrate capitalism. Commons Poly is not original, meaning that it's basically part of a large and very complex movement around the commons. Um, what is happening right now is that public institutions are not able to take care of the common good. We can see that in what is happening regarding the coronavirus. So health as a common good is not always possible when you have huge privatization processes going on in many places at the same time. So the commons has been a field for political experimentation and that's why commons poly is part of that. But one of the ideas uh, we have been defending is that you can also use funny tools, you can also entertain yourself uh, at the same time you play or you perform your activism. And that's what Commons Poly is trying to do, to create a funny environment in which you can learn about the commons and uh, experiment yourself uh, what is a society in which you need to cooperate to take care of, of the common goods. Uh, it is connected to many other initiatives, just to mention some of them, like the Right to the City movement in Belgrade or the occupation of Teatro Valle in Italy, and many other small or large uh, uh, movements. And also, quoting Adrian Rich, it's basically radical happiness. What happens when you are part of a group and you experience yourself collective joy and you recognize each other, uh, assuming that 
all of us are part of a common society. So five years is not that much, but many things happened around the commons poly. So after the first draft, we decided to produce 200 copies of the game and we were using a shoes box to put the game inside. We produced boards. And then when we joined Nemesis, which is a Horizon 2020 project on uh, social innovation and public schools, we were able to produce 1,000 copies for the first time in English and we started with the website. The funny thing is that after that, many crazy things happened with the game. Right now, it is uh, present in 23 countries, which is low-minded for us. And some really nice things happened. For example, a family in Galicia and Spain decided to produce a homemade version of the game with artisan elements. A guy in the UK wrote us because he was organizing an Esperanto festival and he wanted to produce an ad hoc version of the game in Esperanto. A group of students connected to free software in India uh, sent us pictures of them playing the game. And just recently in Hungary, as part of a master degree, uh, the students decided to create a business model on how to expand the Commons Police. So, you know, not everything is always great because we are very slow uh, answering to people. We try to avoid Amazon and as part of that, sometimes we deliver not that fast as, as we would like. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the nice thing is that when you, you know, set the game and you see a group of people who know each other or not, experimenting for the first time this idea of cooperating as part of a board game uh, in, in opposition to Monopoly, that's, that's really funny and nice to see. And lately, uh, Commonspoly uh, is taking part in Creatures, which is another Horizon 2020 coordinated by the Alto University in Helsinki and also with the participation of the Sussex University, the Utrecht uh, University and the RMIT among other organizations in which SEMOS 98 is taking part and basically we are uh, checking how to use Commons Poly as a tool for social transformation and to evaluate that uh, capacity. So that's basically what is happening right now with, with Commons Poly and we hope we are able to, to spread the new edition, which is called the Green Edition. We have produced new uh, copies, 1000 of them, in Spanish and English, but also digitally you can download the Portuguese and French uh, version and we are excited with this uh, announcement.